Remember this woman? Right now, I declare and I call forth our president to take his rightful place. This is Kat Kerr, and she is infamous for doing some really weird shit. So buckle up, it's about to get weird. Let's get into it. I wanted to start off introducing her for anybody who doesn't actually know who she is. She claims to be a Christian prophet who goes to heaven on the reg and hangs out with God, personally. Like, not in spirit, but literally, physically. And because she has the ability to go to heaven, and apparently nobody else does, she can bring back some unique information that nobody else has. How convenient, right? She just released another video recently, and we're gonna give that one a watch, but let's recap on some of her past claims first. She's a massive Trump supporter. She has been for a long time. And you know what that means. It means she claimed that God chose Trump as the winner before the election even happened. She said he would win in a landslide. So I declare, so I declare. The, upcoming the upcoming election in 2020, 2020. the one you have chosen, you will, will win, win. In, a in a landslide. You will show your favor, show your favor. over that administration and, administration and give them new things to do to help our country be greater than it ever was before. That's pretty specific. Watching her flop around after he lost was exquisite. She even pulled the stick out. You know it gets serious when the stick comes out. Right now, I declare and I call forth our president to take his rightful place, Trump, to come forth right now, step into your destiny that God gave you, called you, appointed you, and anointed you for this time. This isn't the first time the stick has come out. She used the stick to deflect a hurricane a while back too. So right now at this moment, we take authority over Dorian that has no right off the coast of this state or anywhere. And we hit that storm to the East. So I guess she means business. You can see her progression into madness as she realized more and more that Trump isn't coming back. Watch my hand move. Now that man is done with their process, I will put my show on. And no one will ever forget when that happens. There will be great celebrations in the streets of this country and around the world. That great victory has come on behalf of the body of Christ on behalf of my America, that I'm not giving up to any enemy. Of course she says she's speaking God's words here, completely unhinged from reality now. But it gets better. She still refuses to accept that he lost, even months later. And she wasn't the only one. She was invited onto a Christian broadcast to talk about what God showed her when he took her into the future on a time-traveling trip. That Trump was coming back and that he was going to be the leader again. Sounds kind of familiar, right? These people love comparing Trump to Jesus. It's kind of fucking weird, actually. First thing I saw was the uh, the media and the news of today god said they will be forced which means they won't want to say it or do it they will be forced to announce that's right that because of the proof and the evidence uh that they have to announce that donald j trump won the election and that he will be president for four more years and they had to say that. Now, this is something that will happen. It will actually happen. So what happened when she was forced to face reality? That Trump lost and he isn't going to be president again. She just kind of stopped talking about it gradually. It took like six months, but she doesn't bring it up much anymore. What's she talking about now, I hear you asking? Let's take a look. And by the way, they, was... have, they have sports in heaven because those people have gifts. But every sport is played for one person and the winner in any of these sports are always Jesus Christ. And I'm even going to share this before we go. I'm sorry, what? They play sports in heaven, but the winner is always Jesus? That sounds fucking boring. How would that even work? Do they have teams? Why doesn't Jesus let other people win every now and then? Is the dude really physically fit enough to compete? Uh, I was taken to a football game in heaven, and I know people, most people, let me tell you, 90% of the people are happy I'm saying this. The, le yeah. the legalistic minded, who don't, wait do you get to your mansion, you're probably faint. Anyway, he took me to this, this football game that somebody was playing, these teams, people who were football, 
football players that had a gift were playing it. But you can join in. You can join in these teams and play. But there were three scoreboards. Really? And these teams are so uh, focused, is a light word, to win these scores because when they would score, it would go to their scoreboard, that team, but then it would go up to the Jesus's. Jesus had his own scoreboard. I know this sounds like a joke, but it's not. She is dead serious. This isn't even the weirdest thing she's said. It's up there, but it gets even weirder. The Bible doesn't really describe heaven in much detail. It's kind of vague about what it even is. But Kat Kerr knows because God takes her personally there on a daily basis. And she got the opportunity to go to a football game where Jesus apparently wins every game. Let's keep watching. And everybody's points, no matter who makes them they were trying to make more points for jesus this is how they do scores in heaven they wow. all went to jesus christ and so it's a different way to play but the intensity and the excitement is still there all the angels their guardian angels are in the stands doing the wave now i feel like i've pretty firmly established that she has a very different view of reality than the rest of us so going into this newest clip you'll be prepared for what you hear this next clip came out just the other day it's brand new so let's give this one a watch i love how confident she is about this stuff she acts like we're dummies for not knowing this you can't kill a demon people right right you can you couldn't do it yourself at all okay number one you're spiritual you're physical that's just not going to happen um if you if you had a physical sword it would pass through them it wouldn't do anything to them all right so this is the thing you you can have them bound and and your guardian angel number one is not one of the hosts i have to let you know that those right. are totally separate the guardian angels come under gabriel okay your guardian angels mostly look like people, but with wings, okay? Doesn't everybody see angels? No, only you, Cat Kerr. What's the old saying? If the whole world is crazy and you're the only sane one, maybe you're the one who's crazy? Sadly, we can't discard this so easily. People believe her. This guy next to her, Steve Schultz, despite having her on regularly for the past six months and listening to her make failed claim after failed claim, he continues to invite her on to tell him more. Even if she's proven wrong without a shadow of a doubt, he continues to believe her and present her ideas to his audience as facts. Let's keep listening. Uh, the hosts don't mostly don't ever look like people. They look like creatures um, or they're made out of things like light or sound. I mean, but they're real and they're 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 fierce. They can battle the demonic. They can shred them, but not kill them. And I mean, they they will literally shred them. They can leave marks on them. They can't kill them. I've seen, uh, if I find that, I'm going to show it on uh, a live stream. I'll just hold it up and show it to people. I literally took a picture one time when I first invited Heaven's Army, according to the protocol the Father gave me, I invited Heaven's Army to be one of my weapons. They began showing up outside in the sky over my home. And one time, not kidding, there was a whole group of them, the ones that looked like lions or the Royal Guard. They had some demons in chains and brought them over my roof and i got a picture now sometimes the picture really she says she got a picture of a demon that's a new one i honestly wonder if she really believes what she's saying and needs help or if she's just buttering his bread by telling him what he wants to hear i think it's probably a 50 50 mix honestly after all the other stuff we've heard this claim doesn't really surprise me she also said she called a thousand special ops angels to ensure trump's re-election these angels are special ops angels that were sent from heaven back in 2016 to be a fight on behalf of America, on our president, on his administration, God's plans that he has for this country. And they were there to be sent out again right now. And we all did that. Uh, I think it was towards the end of Friday night that we did that sometime. But it was very powerful to see them. They shoot past us like beams of light. She kind of put herself in an interesting catch-22 on that one, didn't she? If Trump loses, it means either she can't actually call angels to do things for her, or God actually wanted Biden to win. Or, you know, the other option. The whole thing is part of a gigantic fantasy. I guess it could be that one too. But even as a fantasy, she's doing real damage by getting poor gullible suckers to believe her. It isn't just a few people. She has a following in the thousands. Let's keep listening. And I got a picture. Now, sometimes the people really? say, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. They were showing me the ones they had captured and were dragging either for judgment, um, because I have been in the courtrooms of heaven where sometimes demons are dragged up and judged. 
and then the father deals with them they're either thrown in a dry place or they're, they're thrown in chains um that's what spirit force is all about you're gonna learn so much about that so i don't have time i'll, I'll won't answer any questions looks like she's going back on the old describing what heaven looked like last time she went there shtick as i said before people believe her people are buying what she's selling she is not a nobody it's endlessly entertaining to listen to her go on and on about what heaven is like but the fact that people take her seriously should raise your eyebrows it sure as shit raises mine anyways that's all i've got for you don't forget if you like what i do and you want to see me continue to do it you can check me out on Patreon. But if you want to get something back for your support, you can check out my Teespring or my Etsy shop. All links are in the description as always. Okay, thanks for watching guys.